Hello and welcome to what is the daily 6pm content video. Uh, we are on Sunday the 28th of August uh, and yesterday Ultimate Team gave us probably what is the best defender in the game at the moment, a 97 Antonio Rudiger card at Real Madrid now obviously. Um, and obviously a couple of days, ooh, didn't expect that to sell for that much but there you go. Cool. Um, before that, we had Gabriel Jesus and Erling Haaland, both of new Premiership clubs. Um, so today we're going to check for new contents, new updates, etc. See what is going on with today's game. Um, judging by what we've seen so far, there is nothing new in the objectives section. At all. Although we only have three and a bit days left of... Um, this season so won't be expecting a whole lot but you never know you never know what they're likely to drop they could drop something surprising something that might actually be worthwhile looking at today an inventive Ooh, Renato Sanchez is gonna be good now him going to PSG um, he's had moves to quote big clubs before but him going to PSG is a They've done him a bit dirty. Actually, the defending is going to be the heading, isn't it? Yeah. 90 plus in the other defending stats that counts. Really good physicals. Really good dribbling. Really good pace. I mean, it's a good card. I don't need to tell you that. 96 flare passes as well. One of the new traits that we're going to see more often with players now. Um, as of the first shot trait, which is useful. And the flare, which is... Also, if you like a midfielder with some flair, the passing is really good. Actually, I'm not even not even sure what card I would put on this. What do you need to improve? What you could go with the anchor, max out the pace, pretty much max out the defending and the physicals. Then his passing is already really good. You would use him more defensively than offensively. And the dribbling is almost perfect anyway. I've got a feeling this is going to be a reasonable price considering where we are. Um, I think it's going to be an 87 and an 88. 87, 80. Wait. Restrictions on... Well, uh, first off, I was right about what squad it's, squads it's going to be. But you have to have an 87 rated squad with a minimum of two or more 88 rated players or higher. So basically, they're stopping people putting in an entire squad of 87s. I would imagine that most people now would be doing something along the lines of putting in spare or duplicate special cards... I mean, this is how I've completed most of my um, recent SPCs. You have high-rated cards like that coming in, and then you bung out the rest with golds and then hope that it makes the rating. I mean, this probably isn't, but we'll have a look anyway. There you go, it does actually. It's one over. We haven't got a PSG player in there. And to be honest, we can because Renato Sanchez would be coming in, we could have a look at what PSG, uh, what French league midfielders we've got at the moment. To be honest, I would probably dump Rafinha. I'm happy without that card. I like the Verratti. And actually, Tushimeni could go. No, actually, we'll keep that one. I could quite happily dump Rafinha in instead of Muller. We'd have to... There's no chem requirement. No chemistry requirement is nice. It just means you can literally use whoever you want. Can we put Vertonghen instead of Chesney? Yes, we can. Okay, can we put Chesney instead of Visca? We could probably go down lower than that. So that's a good thing. But if EA are thinking that for an 88-rated squad, people are putting 11 88-rated players in, then they're mad. 
because of the 85 times 10, we're getting duplicates that we can use in SPCs from that. I mean, I don't think I've done an SPC since we got into silly season, post team of season, all the footy stuff, where I haven't done like four special. You well, you guys, anybody who's watched my videos before will have seen me do the 85 times 10, and you put four or so special guards in, and then the rest are gold. That's how you do them. But Renato Sanchez is new. It's a good looking card. Obviously, 96 rated. Can't really complain about that. 85 times 10 times 3 is back. We have that. Nothing in footy, surprisingly. The live stuff. We got warm up too, so we're going to get a guaranteed batch of players, which is nice. And there is nothing else new going on here. So we're going to put all of our bronzes into here. Um, can we, have we got these, any, any left? Oh, we've got two. I oh, know, he wasn't bronze. We can put them in anyway. Um, and then, should we go Ireland, I guess? Have I got any there? Yes. Thirty chem, Ooh, chemistry. There we go. So we get one one of three eighty four plus player pick for doing this little SPC. As you see, one of three eighty four plus. So do that, and then because we've completed that bit, that's nice. We'll take a D Thomas, and then what? And then from that, we get to go over to this objective section. And gives us five eighty-five pluses, which will be useful for the eighty-five times ten, obviously, and might even get a good player out of it. Who knows? Let's reset all of these first. Missed that. I'm finding that, that as you saw earlier on, the kits are selling better. These are all done done for what was on the market price at the time. So let's go back, get that D. Thomas card, assuming it will let me. Assuming that's, it will just, hmm, okay. Hmm, okay, I'm assuming the D. Thomas one went into my squad already. And from the 85 times 5, we have a Luka Modric. So as you see, like the, referring back to my previous point, this is a duplicate card. Therefore, he's going to be one of the cards I put into uh, the SPC. One of the SPCs, whether it's Renato Sanchez. Okay, thank you for that. Um, whether it's Renato Sanchez or whether it's 85 times 10. But we got two nicely rated um, exchangeable cards, really. So that's pretty good. Um, Renato Sanchez is a favourite of... People who play EA, uh, people who play Ultimate Team, his low center of gravity, um, the aggression, the fact that he's got a good all round game, um, always good physical stats and good pace as well, always combines well together to make him a pretty useful card, to be honest. Plus, he's Portuguese, so he'll link with your Ronaldo's, your Bruno Fernandes, your Gelson Martinez, all of that kind of thing. So, he is a welcome addition, and we've got nothing else new. So, it's it's the warm-up SPC, it's the 85 times 10 and it's Renato Sanchez today. Other than that, we don't have a whole lot um, as expected. Also, we don't have upgrades for um, Pogba and Wijnaldum. Juventus and Roma drew, so they're both getting a plus one, which is going to make Wijnaldum again better than one step better than Pogba is. Purely because Pogba's got a lot more 99s, uh, i.e. categories you can't actually improve. Whereas his dribbling is going to be mad. He's going to have five categories, 98 or higher. Pogba is going to have a couple less than that. The adjusting the balance will need an engine for him. But we'll see when they get upgraded. They get upgraded and we'll go from there. Other than that, we'll end the video there. Uh, actually... Speak of that. We'll check store just to see what else is there. Oh, I can't because I've got a Modric sat there, haven't I? Okay. 
We will definitely leave it there. We just have a Renato Sanchez today. A very nice looking 96 rated PSG card. It's a moments card for his transfer. Apparently transfers are now moments. If they want to do that, they can do that. It's fine. But yeah, he's got a 96 rated card. Um, so yeah, we will end the video there. We in the UK have a bank holiday Monday tomorrow. So there's no work, school, etc. for people. Other than that, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, I hope you've had a good Sunday and roll on Monday. Um, speak to you later. Thanks for watching. There'll be another video this time tomorrow. Goodbye.